So I've been at this liner pool business for a long time, building vinyl liner pools. We've built all kinds of stuff, but I want to address specifically when is it time to replace a liner and then how do you pick, how do you choose what liner, what pattern, that type of thing. There's a couple different reasons that people replace liners. Number one, they leak. So if the liner is leaking and, and you're getting all different types of problems, uh, one of the typical problems is the, the, at the surface, above water level where the sun beats on it, that, that edge that's getting most of the sun will dry up and get crispy and tear. You can try to patch it, but if the, if the tears get too big, it's pretty impossible to tear. Uh, the other thing is the liners tend to get brittle, and if it gets hit, a lot of times it'll shatter or break. So that would be the number one reason to replace it, is it just doesn't hold water anymore. Number two, it's just not physically attractive. In an awful lot of cases, we replace liners that are 20 years old that are still holding water, but they're not attractive anymore. Someone's looking for a fresh and update because it's really dated and it looks old. So those would be the main two reasons. I suppose there's other reasons like accidents that, you know, I don't know, something fell in and cut the liner up and that type of thing, but it either doesn't hold water or it doesn't look good anymore are the typical two reasons. What happens then is if you're in that position and you don't have a relationship with anyone in the liner industry, you're sort of thrown to the wolves because there's 50 manufacturers that make vinyl liners, of which most buy the same vinyl from many different suppliers around the world and offer all the same patterns and all the same styles and all the same whatever, and it's just confusing. I don't know that there's a right answer in terms of the right company, who to use. I know that we go based on the experience we've had and the longevity that we know that we can predict based on a particular liner. And there, there's then been this trend from really basic, fairly ugly liners to the to multicolor printing to create all different types of shapes and patterns back to a, a little more of a simple uh, look again to a gradient look I think any one of them in the right circumstance is going to be fine I know for me when I'm recommending liners for my clients it depends on the look that they're going for as to what my recommendation would be. Now, if I'm building a pool, I'm very typically going to pick the liner because I'm, I'm going for an overall subtle look. Uh, there, I remember way back in the day when everyone wanted that bright, bright blue pool because it looks so refreshing because it's super bright. And that's all fine because it's a pretty blue, but it's not effective if you're looking for the feel to a yard, if you're looking for a specific look and you're trying to blend it with other things. Years ago, that didn't matter. It was the brightest, coolest, prettiest color, and that was the right liner to do. Uh, today, it's more subtle. What's going to work? Therefore, the gradient from a lighter to a darker bottom. A darker bottom is going to show less debris. The pool's going to have dirt in it anyway. If the bottom is darker and has more of a deeper pattern, you're not going to notice it, so the pool's going to appear to be cleaner. So people love that part. There's also an argument for a dark liner retaining more heat. I suppose that's true. I don't have the proof to say that it's this much more efficient or not. But what I would do if I were looking today is I would build some relationships with some of the local companies, find a legitimate company, and start asking questions. Why do you use a liner? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? What are, what are some other options? And chances are you'll stumble across somebody who knows what they're doing, and when they're talking the right lingo, you really understand that they understand what it is about liners and, and go with that. You can certainly go online and, and look at every company's website and everyone's going to tell you the same thing. We have the premier bestest, we're awesome, no one's better than us, no one has better customer service than us, no one has better, they'll all say that same thing and it really isn't true. There's a few that stand out and I won't mention who I think they are but I do think that there are a few that stand out above the rest. Yeah.